Oh, um, what up, guys? Mine's Johnny, and welcome to, um, Loner, part two. So, I kind of played a little bit by myself, uh, during my free time, and so far I found three pages. Now, here's a quick montage. Um, I found a few more pages. Uh, right now, I'm at 27 pages out of 53. So, I have spent 45 minutes looking for pages. Jeez. Now, um... See, they they have three chapters, two, three type of chapters, and here's all the pages. So, um, I want to be your hero. Now, this is the uh, uh, here. Uh, what's this guy? A loner talking. So, move that there. Uh, don't look at that. That's just my recording thing. I would be your hero. The Empire just declared war. What father once worry about is. Fine, uh, finally here, according to the papers, the Department of Defense will soon begin, begin begin a nationwide recruitment. Lately, Alma has taught me what it means to feel concerned for others. I'm sorry, Father, but I need to break my promise to you. I'm joining the army. Remember how come the uh, he made a promise to his father to that he was not going to join the war? Well, now he's breaking it. Uh, I now have someone to protect. I still value the lives around me, even the lives of the enemy. So he is going to break his wish, his father's wish, and join the army. All right. I will remember your words. The mil military transfer took us to non Nottingham, where all the new recruits are to catch a train. The air is full of excited chatter. I do not care to join in this. This morning, Alma made me a delicious breakfast before I left. She gave me words of encouragement and strength. Now she looks so small and alone in the crowd outside, like a leaf caught in a storm. My heart is breaking. I will miss you, my lover. I will miss you. 
I want to fly with you. Today, the naval aviation came to select soldiers. I was selected by the captain who has very severe and a steerly look. I wonder what it feels like to be flying in and there. I imagine it's liberating. I hope one day share that feeling with Alma. Uh, once the war is over, right now, however, I must be warrior and protect our country and the ones I love. I wouldn't join the war if I were you, but choice is choice. Is this the first page? Alright, I just want to make sure. After training, the captain gave us a day off and told us there would be a big surprise waiting for us the day after tomorrow. I guess maybe it's time to go to the front. The training time should have been five months, but now we have to finish it in two. Many people quit. Worse than that, some people choose other troops. Maybe the pressure is too much. I heard that mortality rate has reached over 30%. All of us know what that means. Some people are excited. Some write to their families at all night. And others practice in the hangar. Harris isn't the barracks at all night. I help Potato write a letter as he cannot spell some of the words. Is that his friends or something? Birds falling down. Today is the first time that we ha we engage in actual con uh, combat. Before we fly, the captain commanded that we must return alive. I bite a Vulcan in the air. I bite a Vulcan in the air. That does not make sense. But when I aimed at it, I couldn't press the trigger. Then, Sean, the number two veteran, shot it down. The captain dispatched squads where which were three times larger than the enemy fighters. So the battle ended quickly. Back at the camp, the recruits were very excited. Fortunately, there were no casualties. Duke shot down one cra aircraft, but despite all the excitement, the Vulcan that Sean shot down continues to be on my mind. Darkness Before Dawn. Now, this is Alma talking. Loner joined the war in the end. But unfortunately, oh, wait, fortunately, not unfortunately, in the first battle, he was unharmed and did not injure others. I can see that he is a little unnerved, but I do not know how to make him feel peaceful. Dad told me that every recruit is like this after their first battle and shouldn't worry. Oh, I should tell him that Crazy Terry family hysterically ran through countryside shouting, they're coming here. We're all, we all scoffed at them. Fight in the war. Today, the captain was furious, and he returned from headquarters because the issue concerning the parachutes was rejected by the committee again. The official reason was self-deception. The captain told us that the committee claims that the parachute would affect the pilot's morale. That's so funny. We're only we're the only country that whose air force is not equipped with parachutes. The captain suggested that everyone is uh, that everyone is equipped with a revolver just in case. Yes, the parachute. I know how to fight in the future. Our troops are retreating. Our trenches are barbed wire and barbed wire can't stop the Imperials' tanks and gas. The poison gas cur is a cursed thing. Wherever it grows, it leaves dead animals and humans. It may even kill their own frontline soldiers. The captain says that our tank troops have been in production and the engineers have developed an anti-gas mask. So this is like kind of a wor World War II back then, alright? But I'm still very worried. Given the current situation, the Empire will break through very soon. I have to write to Alma so they may be ready in advance. Ready for what? It has been one month and I haven't heard from Alma yet. I thought the last letter was very subtle, but perhaps it had been destroyed by the ex examiner. 
How can I tell the news? It seems I must cipher. Yes, Robert said that he stalked in the cellar for a long time in the Greek Mountain Battle. I mentioned if I mentioned the basement at home, he might know what I mean. The time I have to figure out how to write the words in order to decipher the examiner. Take care. In the letter, Loner told me to remind my father to repair the basement. My father thinks that means to remind us to be ready in the war. In that case, the trust is exactly different from what the newspaper said. But that does not let me w warn others. He will handle it. Uh, it is so dangerous at the front line. I should remind Loner to be safe. And that's where we're, oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. But that's where we're going to leave it for right now. And then um, uh, stay tuned to a Monday or Tuesday uh, for part three. And then uh, I'm going to finish off with part four. Uh, so while in my free time, I'm going to go look for some more pages. And uh, so it's just going to be stories. So I might finish the series be uh, during three. Uh, who knows? But thank you for watching this episode. I'm really enjoying this game. It has a great story. So, um, yeah. Alright. Adios, dudes. Uh, boop.